We spoke to Ian Milheiser yesterday about that Consumer Financial Protection Bureau uh, case. That is one where um, the Fifth Circuit Court, this is the one out of Texas, Louisiana, uh, and uh, what's the third state? Mississippi. Um, found that the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, because it is paid out of uh, the Treasury Department, out of, fi out of basically fees and fines, that it imposes it on banks has an independent, essentially, um, funding mechanism. Again, set up by Congress. Um, the Fifth Circuit found that it was unconstitutional because Congress is supposed to appropriate the money, <sighs> not uh, Treasury. Treasury's not supposed to pay out there. But the Constitution itself says... And I, I, the, the exact wording escapes me, but unless appropriated by Congress and Congress directed this funding mechanism. Um, so we will see. Uh, we'll get reports back as to like how it's being received in the uh, oral arguments today. Um, but it's a good thing that the Supreme Court is on its heels a little bit. Uh, because they tend to be a little bit less crazy yeah, in that and, instance. And also, just so people uh, are reminded, that suit brought uh, to, to basically disband the CFPB was brought by uh, uh, predatory payday lenders. Um, and <clears throat> that's the group that the Supreme Court will be listening to in their claims against the constitutionality of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Um, those are the moneyed interests at, at, at issue here. And we should also say, I mean, if the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau was found to be illegally established or unconstitutionally established, all of the um, banking regulations that it has promulgated um, since that time, which was 10 years now, has long it been, been around, um, would yeah. be... Uh, Dodd-Frank, so... But 10 years plus, I can't, I can't. Exactly. Uh, yeah, July 2011, so 12. 12 years. Yeah. Um, would be considered null and void. And then uh, just the mortgage industry alone would collapse. So that would be, you know, something of a problem. Not good.